Hey guys, Tobias here. <coughs> Today, um, I want to fly a double decker, which I haven't flown before. So bear with me. It looks cool, should be pretty maneuverable. And I'm taking off from Toronto City Center, flying through Toronto, and heading southeast to Niagara Falls. Wow, look at that skyline, let's check that out. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let me check this out. Pretty simple cockpit. And it's indeed quite hard to see anything. So I don't know how real uh, pilots do this, to be honest. Can't look behind me. Can only look to the side. Yeah. Well, let's look here. Okay. Look at that tower. We're going to check that out. I'm going to fly towards the city center. Lots of other airplanes around, looks like it. And I'm flying live weather, so it looks like a nice day today in Toronto, pretty much like here in Boston. Um, normally, I like to stay in the cockpit until I'm, I've taken off, but uh, here, with this plane, I think I will not do that. Uh, let me check. Taking off, depart straight out. Toronto Island traffic pits Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 8 straight out departure. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's taken off all on its own. Beautiful. Stay, and let's stay very close to the ground. I'm on high end traffic setting. This is very maneuverable. First time I'm flying this. Sheridan Center, Hilton. Should I try to go lower? See if I can fly through those buildings? I think this is the plane to do it, right? So let me do a dive. the building should keep loading as you see that's what they do so the detail the amount of detail should get better and better of course if you're this close um, let me see if I can actually bump up the graphics a bit to 
see what level of detail I can achieve with Ultra. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to stay on pause and let it load. There's definitely more cars. This guy doesn't know where he's going. Speak graffiti, right? Oh, it doesn't seem to be still loading anything. Not really, is it? Maybe I should keep going and see where, um, see how it looks. <gasps> okay. That was not good. Guys, I think I have to restart the game. Oh, no. Yeah. That wasn't um, so good. I forgot that I had the um, joystick in my hand when I had paused. So I had to keep the airplane steady. It's a bummer that Microsoft is not kind of simulating crashes. Um, I know that's kind of not the point of the game, but, you know, sometimes you just kind of like to see how far they're taking it with the realism. But uh, yeah, the first installment was released in 1982. I actually started playing in the early 90s with Microsoft 4, Flight Simulator 4, on a 286 Hercules graphics. Okay, that's a nice descent. I'm going to keep the ultra setting and see if my computer, which is not the fastest, can actually keep up. If the frame rates are dropping, then uh, I'm going to revert back to high end, which can have it quite high. Let's try this once more. Very close to the city center, so easy to get back to where I was. Okay, you see the frame rate dropping, that's not going to be so much fun. Look at those gorgeous buildings down there. Look at this, looks like the boats are all underwater. <coughs> yeah, this is not going to be a little fun. Let me change that back to high end. What I don't get is how the game itself kind of slows down all the menus when you're on the setting your computer can't really handle. It doesn't really make sense to me. Why don't you just pause, you know, all the other, basically the gameplay, while you're in the menu. See how slow this is? It's kind of ridiculous. So I've managed to change it to high end. Come on, computer. Apply and save. It's not that hard. I already hit F11 on the keyboard. That didn't do it. Let me try that again. Nope. Okay, now it's doing it. And after that, it should actually get a lot smoother. Frame rates are slowly catching up. Still not very good. Oh, see a car down there? It just crossed over. Oh, probably because it was actually under the bridge. There's still some glitches like that. <clears throat> Roger Center again down there.
I'll try looping later when I have more speed. I'm gonna do it here over over the city though. It's pretty amazing. I'm gonna try one last time to get to the tower, and then I'm gonna head over to Niagara Falls over the Great Lake. Not a lot of traffic on the high end setting. Not a little bit down there. It's a Sunday after all. No cloud in the sky. Not much exciting weather, but I guess that's a good thing. Oh, I hit that. Uh, I hit the tower. <laughs> you can play fast curse with this thing. There it is again. It's really not very happy right now. Hi, Roger Center. Gorgeous. I'm not good at this, but I'll just keep going. Please, please, please. Just get out of here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into developer mode. I'm going to turn on slew mode, which allows me to actually take this airplane to a whole new uh, location. I just need to see how I can raise it. How do I... something real quick. I have a um, cheat sheet. Uh, slew mode. Uh, F3 and F4. There you go. Okay, so I get this thing in the air. And now... Uh, see on the map how I can basically control it? So I'm going to speed up my flight over to Niagara Falls, actually. Just look at the top right corner to the map. I'm going to go forward, 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 all the way. Oops, there's some fog. Keep going, keep going. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. I'm Gonna be there soon. There's land. There's more airplanes. Okay. I am going to <laughs> see how it's loading the scenery. Gonna climb slow a little bit. I'm going to go and drop out of slow mode. Okay, let's see if I can take back over and head to Niagara Falls. This is looking very nice. Just 
Respekt. Okay, now I'm using the keys to trim so I don't have to hold the joystick all the time. It's not as easy as you might think it is. It's a nice little settlement down there. See that here? That is that Rochester or something. I'm gonna head there, I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna follow this river to what I believe is Rochester, New York, which should be the next bigger city to Niagara Falls. Pretty nice day, but uh, there's a little bit of haze. Oh, nice bridge down there. Look at the water. 
Well, this is obviously a nice plane for very tight maneuvering. That I'll try to play under. Oh, the frames, the frame rate suffering. There you go. Oh. Oh, looks like I was hit by it and forced on the ground. That was weird for a second. Okay, looks like those are the actual Niagara Falls, and I was aiming for Niagara Falls Airport, which is five nautical miles away. Okay, so I'm in between Canada and the U.S., essentially. You can see here on the map how, um, I'm heading towards the falls, I guess. I've been to the falls, I can't say I remember exactly how everything looked around it. Water park, it was actually winter time when I was at the fall, so there was no one there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hit pause. Pause here. Interesting how they visualize that. It's not like there's no movement. You can't really see the water falling. But yeah, I guess that's the bridge that can go on. And then Casino, yeah, I remember that. There were lots of, there was lots of entertainment stuff. And this is actually uh, uh, water. stones and there's walkways. You can be down there as well actually. I'm not going to do the ultra mode again. I don't know what those lines are. I'm just going to keep flying. Parking lot. <laughs> I guess we could have done a little bit better job here. I gotta go in here and improve the quality of that just a little bit. Mm, what do you think? That's not looking very realistic. But I love generally what they've done to the water. Oh, you hear that? Oh my god, I can see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the actual colors of the plane mirrored. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going. No, I'm gonna have to save myself again. because I have no speed. I wonder if you can change the speed. Let me quickly hmm. Sorry, I was looking at a website some keyboard shortcuts. Looks like those are the lines. Looks like those lines were... Okay. I'm going to head for the airport and I'm going to try to land. I don't know what the 
at Taylor Johnson. There you go, Park Wells. I'm going to tune into the tower. Niagara Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is five miles southwest with Oscar to land. Pits Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Niagara Tower. Make straight in runway one zero left. Altimeter tree, zero decimal, four six wind, one 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 at eight. Pit X three Golf Sierra, clear to land runway, one zero left. Wind one 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 at eight. Knowledge. Clear to land runway one zero left. Pits X ray uh, golf I Sierra. Don't know where I'm supposed to be. A lot of people are living here. gaining speed while I'm lowering altitude, of course. That's a huge uh, runway. I probably need one-tenth of that. down a little later. And I'm wondering if it's going to show me where to taxi to. So I was up taxiing to my final parking spot and getting some ground services. smooth landing. Okay. Not so smooth, but... Turn next taxiway. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
It's <laughs> amazing. Okay, okay. One two five decimal tree for Pitts X Ray Golf Sierra. Ground Pitts Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra request taxi to parking. Pitts Alpha Sierra X Ray Question. Golf Sierra taxi to General Aviation parking using taxiway Delta Alpha. Delta Alpha. I'm just gonna follow. Um, Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Delta Alpha Pits X Ray Golf Sierra. I don't even know how to navigate an airport like this. I'm just gonna follow the blue lines. I know it's cheating. There's no way to walk. Ask for ground services? No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna probably call it the day after I've arrived. Shortcut. Uh, so, can I park in here? Or no? Yeah, yes, I can. Ground services. Fuel supply. Ground pits Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra. Could you please send a fuel truck? Sierra, X-ray golf, Sierra, a fuel truck is on the road. He wants me to get to the middle, but um I'm not gonna do that. Let me see a fuel truck. Any fuel truck. See any fuel truck on the way. I've tried it a couple times now and it works. There's definitely a truck coming. And it's gonna stop in the distance and then the fuel menu pops up and then you can basically tell it how much you want and you instantly get filled up. That's kinda how it works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the ride uh, as much as I did, and see you again next time. <laughs>